three Best Picture nominees face controversy because of historical inaccuracies. Jan Crawford shows us why Hollywood finds its truth in drama. It's either the amendment or this Confederate piece you cannot have both. It's the drama at the heart of the movie. Blood's being spilled to afford us this moment. President Lincoln's struggle to persuade, inspire, and outright strong arm enough members of Congress to approve the 13th Amendment to ban slavery. Since you are sending my son into the war, woe unto you if you fail to pass the amendment. But Lincoln had more votes than the filmmakers let on. In the movie, two Connecticut representatives voted nay on the amendment. In fact, 148 years ago, the Connecticut delegation voted for it. We're talking about slavery here. This is not a vote on, you know, approving a highway project. Connecticut Congressman Joe Courtney said the inaccuracy denigrated the state. Somebody who respects artistic license, um, what, what I still you know, can't believe is being overlooked is that a vote is not dialogue uh, between characters. A vote is an event. Lincoln screenwriter Tony Kushner admitted to changing two of Connecticut's votes to clarify that the 13th Amendment passed by a narrow margin. He added, I hope nobody is shocked to learn that I also made up dialogue, imagined encounters, and invented characters. That's Hollywood. And in fact, like Lincoln's that, revisions yeah. are minor compared with two other Best Picture nominees. <laughs> Argo's most scenes never happened, including the daring escape attempt from Iran. And then there's this year's most controversial nominee. I'm not your friend. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to break you. Any questions? Zero Dark Thirty, about the killing of bin Laden. Senior members of Congress have complained that scenes showing torture to get intelligence never happened. Well, Hollywood is, is known not as the truth factory, but the dream factory. A.O. Scott is the New York Times film critic. People... Who, who criticize these movies tend to think, well, the audiences will be fooled. I think the, the opposite tends more to be the case, that, that you know, people who go to the movies think that what they're seeing, even if it is true, even if it is reality, even if it is maybe a documentary, is really, in the end, just a movie. And when it comes to voting for Best Picture, Scott says inaccuracy, or creative license, as Hollywood would call it, didn't hurt previous winners. From Gladiator to the movie considered the biggest whopper of them all, Shakespeare in Love. I think it's when historical accuracy is attached to political controversy that it matters. The political controversy that has almost engulfed Zero Dark Thirty is one reason some critics say that movie won't win Best Picture. Lincoln, they say, is different. Filmmakers went out of their way to get it right. They made several trips here to Washington, met with teams of historians, even incorporated original sounds from 1865 into the movie. For CBS This Morning, I'm Jan Crawford in Washington.